that's right. I was going to make a video. Who am I? Who are you? Who are we all? I mean, really. Anyways, uh, enough of that nonsense. So, I have a little lesson I want to teach you today. Um, this is geared towards anybody who works at home and uh, anybody who's just starting their own business. I want to make a point about time management, money, and time versus money. A lot of people need to understand that when you work from home or you have your own business, time is just as valuable as money. Now, I'm not talking to, you know, well-established business owners who, who've already learned this lesson. I mean, if you're someone who's working from home right now and you just spent two hours and all you made was a dollar, that's not good. If you do that every day, you are not going to get anywhere. And... I kind of get sick of these marketers who say, um, and they say it all the time, you know, well, if you you went and did a solo ad and you made a dollar profit, hey, that's a profit. That's a good thing. No, it's not. Because you just spent way too much time and way too much money doing it only for a dollar. How are you expected to go anywhere with that? Now, if you grow from that dollar and next time it's $2 and then next time it's three and four and you keep growing until you have like, you know, $100 coming in every time, then that's good. But if you are doing these tasks to make money from home and you're only making a couple of dollars and that's all you get, well, that's not really a good thing. It's just not. You need to do better than that. I want to make this point. Last night, um, for those of you who, who don't know, I have a business where I build electric hurricane lanterns. And uh, what I do is I take real kerosene lanterns and convert them to electric. Now, I sell these on Etsy.com and sometimes eBay. And they do pretty well. I, I make about what you would make working part-time at a job every week. So, on average. Now, with these, these lanterns, I sell different types. I have different colors. And one of the, the types that I sell is a copper lantern. That's actually one of my most popular. I sell out of those things fast. People love those lanterns. So I never did the time. I never timed out how long it takes me to build them versus how much money I make selling them. So I decided to do it last night. I had to build 20 for my stocks to stock up on my, uh, on my stock. And uh, I timed it out. It took me five hours to build all 20 of them, right, from, from start to finish. Now, for the copper lantern, some of the parts I get are actually a lot cheaper than my other lanterns. So I make a little more of a profit on these. So my profit, typically $30. So $30 times um, 20, that's $600. Which means that I made six hundred dollars. If you do, if you think of it in that terms, that I just earned six hundred dollars in five hours, which breaks down to one hundred and twenty dollars an hour. That's fantastic. Now, when I was working in the warehouse job, I would work eight hours a day, forty hours a week, and I would bring a take-home pay at the end of the week for about five fifty. I just made that same amount of money from home working five hours in one day on one night after already having a full day of work doing other things. That's how you manage your time and that's how you make good money doing with whatever you do. That's a success. Now, if I had spent... 40 hours and made that kind of money, then I'm not really doing any better than working a normal job. And the bad thing is here is if I spent 40 hours building those 20 lanterns, that's a total loss. Total loss. Because I still got 20 lanterns of another type that I have to build and another one and another one. And I want to be doubling my sales than what I make right now. I want to double my business. I can't do that if I'm spending that much time building these things. The faster I build them, the better it is, the more money I make. That's how you become successful. 
And that's how you manage your time and your money. For example, uh, I'm going to use PTC sites as an example. Let's say you join a PTC site. This is paid to click. And they pay you like 0 0.002 to click on an ad. Now, some sites have different rules. I don't, I'm, I'm going by one that I, I read about today that I think they limit you to five. So you click on five and you make like, what is that? Like two, four, six, uh, uh, zero, 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 zero 0.0010 that you just made in one day. And that's it for the day. You can't earn anymore. You got to wait till tomorrow. How long is it going to take you to even get to a dollar? So now what you got to do is you got to get involved in earning referrals and then advertising your PTC, uh, your PTC site or your referral link to get more referrals to come on. But here's a problem. And I don't know. I'm not I can't tell you uh, how other you know, how PTC site users are doing with this. But what I do know is they advertise like crazy on all of these websites and all you do is see like, you know, Neo Bucks come up constantly. So I'm not sure how many people are going to connect to that when it's being thrown on their face nonstop. I don't know. I saw one that was so stupid. The person advertised, ready for this? This was just really stupid. They joined a PTC site, right? And then advertised that PTC site that they joined on the same website that people are already a member of because you can't view the ads unless you become a member. So this moron went and spent money to advertise on the same website. Here's your sign. Totally just beyond stupid. Anyways, uh, that's just a side note. I just, when I saw that, I couldn't believe it. I was truly like, you are a moron. You don't advertise on the same site. As a matter of fact, your referral link for this particular website is their homepage, which means that I'm looking at the homepage where I'm viewing the ad, but I'm looking at the ad that's the same page that I'm a member of, so I can't exactly sign up again on their link. I, I can't even fathom it. I, I don't know how you could be that stupid. I, I don't know. Maybe they're five years old. You know, they don't, they don't know better. Maybe it was a kitten. Or maybe that cat that, pl that plays piano, you know? Maybe the cat that plays piano now figured out how to use the keyboard on, on, a, on a computer. Or he's using a, a tablet and he's viewing PTC ads. But he didn't realize that. You don't advertise on the same site. I don't know. Maybe it's the grumpy cat, you know, and he doesn't know and you can't tell him any better because he's grumpy all the time. And if you say one word to him, it's Row! I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. So you go and you join this PTC sites and you're spending all of that time just to make 0 0.05 cents or whatever it is. I, that's actually would be good if you got paid that. It's more like 0 0.005 cents. So you go, if you're going to do that, you go and you time it out how long it takes you to earn that. If it takes a second and then you do the math and figure, okay, how much time am I spending a week and how much money did I do? You know, so my hour, you know, let's say you spent, uh, you know, an hour a day doing this, maybe you joined a bunch of those sites, or maybe you spend an hour a day, so it's five hours a week, and you made um, five cents. Is that worth it? Is it really worth it? Is it worth all of the work just to make little pay? That's how you have to look at it. I mean, if I was, like I said, if I was building these electric hurricane lanterns all week and it was taking me like 80 hours and then at the end of the week, you know, my profit was so low and the amount of time I spent that I couldn't, I, for example, like I told you, I get part-time pay doing it, but yet I work less than part-time hours doing it. Therefore, 
it is a big success. But if I was working full time and overtime doing it, more than 40 hours a week, and getting the same pay that I get right now, not worth it. I'm going to get nowhere. I can't grow the business. I can't make money doing the other stuff that I do. I can't work in the marketing business. I can't do anything because I'm going to be spending so much time on that. So uh, I hope that helps, uh, helps everybody understand. You know, I see it all the time, all the time of people who make this mistake. And it's just not worth it if you're not making money. It's just not. And if you're not making enough, I mean, you got to figure out either how to do it better, how to grow your business or move on to something else because you will never get anywhere and you're going to be disappointed all the time. And that's really important. Time is valuable. It's short. We just don't know. We don't know. You know, my life has been uprooted from where it was two and a half years ago. I don't even know my life anymore. Everything changed. Everything. So with that, you know, I was just going along like, as normal, like, hey, this is my life. And then suddenly it's just gone. All of it's gone. You just don't know. So you don't screw around with time. You try to take advantage of it as much as you can. And when you're working for yourself, you have to take advantage of that time. Anyways, uh, I hope that helps you. And... Uh, I will see you again in another video. Hey you! Me? <laughs> yeah, you! Thanks for watching the video! Why not subscribe oh. to my YouTube channel on the left? Oh, man. And then go to my website on the right! I have tons of awesome content, cool stuff, and fantastic money-making opportunities! Hey! I'll see you there! Hey, how to get in here, man? How to get in here, man? Oh man, get me out of here! Get me out of here, man! Oh, this is trippy! Oh my god, this is trippy! Oh, hey, get me out of here! Oh man, get me out of here! Oh!